The Nature Conservancy started working in the upper White River watershed in 2017. In doing that is we started to assess what resources and what conservation efforts were already happening. There are farmers in the watershed that are doing the right things. And in fact, they're leaders in the watershed and they're influencing other farmers to do uh, practices that benefit uh, not only production, but also uh, the freshwater resources we have in the White River. My father started in the early 80s as a full tillage operation. Not too long after that, uh, no-till started coming along. He adopted that pretty quickly. Uh, we were seeing some benefits of manpower, equipment, and obvious benefits of the soil erosion. Starting in 2011, I actually came back to the farm. And uh, since that time, we started getting into some more cover crops and looking at some more conservation efforts to uh, improve our operation. I think conservation is coming more to the forefront as a hot topic item. Uh, earlier on, it was you know, more equipment based. They were looking more at the production side of things as improvements. And now there's slowly a movement gaining that's saying, we can improve all these things while still doing conservation at the same time. That row is about out. Primarily as a farmer, I see my main job as being a steward of the land, so I think that means leaving it better than what we found it. We're trying to build resiliency into the system see the structure and the water infiltration and then right next door is a neighbor that's been farming conventionally and you can see the difference in the soil and that's when it really clicked with my dad and I. We can wear out soil really fast with improper practice when it comes to agriculture. So spending time making sure that we're doing it the right way is going to make our agriculture systems more regenerative, more sustainable. it's become pretty obvious that resilience is going to be your ticket to surviving long term. You know, cover crops, for example, if it's a drought, they retain moisture. If it's a flood, they allow infiltration. We started using cover crops back in 2014. Uh, we do that to improve our nutrient cycling, break up soil compaction. We've been able to reduce some inputs. By doing those things, we're reducing sediment levels, uh, running off site, nutrient running off site. It's a long game. If I put in the work, I can financially benefit from reduced inputs, a more resilient system. Maybe we don't have to farm as many acres to make a good living and that'll improve quality of life, quality of soil, and just quality of health for our families. The Nature Conservancy couldn't do what we do in the White River watershed without the help of local leaders, including our farmers. I think a lot of farms are realizing that there's advantages to be had by using those ecosystem services, right? By using what Mother Nature gives us and realize that we need to live in harmony with what we've been given natural resource-wise and that there's a lot of advantage that we've made there. 